Uh, some sportsmanship there. Touching hands with Rick Dow. Your referee in charge of the action is Mark Mazzini. Introducing your combatants first. Fighting out of the BW3 Red Corner. He is a mixed martial artist, standing 5 feet 9 inches tall, and weighing in at 147 and 1 half pounds. Tonight, he makes his MMA debut inside this cage. He is an independent fighter and hails from Toledo, Ohio. Please welcome Joshua the Stone Cold Killer. Pacheco, one of the more interesting characters I think I've ever seen, especially for a debut fighter. You don't see a lot of guys with that much uh, personality <laughs> uh, coming into a debut fight, but uh, definitely interesting to see him here. Obviously, like I said, born in Mexico, moved to the U.S. when he was five years old, and then found MMA at age 17. It's 17, so yeah. Been training for about three years. That means now he's 20 years old. So, uh, What I'm interested in seeing Dave tonight is if he can let his, his wrestling, his jiu-jitsu background come through. A lot of amateur fighters tend to hesitate. You know, once it's all fine, it's all fun and games to you start getting hit in the face. <laughs> so, so we'll true. see if he can utilize You're his right. ground game if it Let's gets go. to Let's the play. ground. And we'll see if Pacheco can utilize that ground game as they touch up here. Here we are, interaction. McDowell in the black and white trunks, Pacheco in the black. And McDowell already switching stances and keeping his hands low. And A little snap kick there. Yeah, and it goes down, Pacheco. Pacheco with a leg kick that drops McDowell. And Pouncing on him. Now, this could be over fast. McDowell needs to recover. Oh, beautiful. Oh, McDowell just thrown on his head right there. And nice Pacheco suplex. is aggressive. McD and McDowell. Pacheco backs off. And McDowell scrambling. You see, he wanted to get out of there quick as Pacheco takes advantage. David, you're absolutely right. As he throws another high leg kick there, McDowell checks that one. And Pacheco definitely coming in here as the more confident fighter. Uh, just obviously just stalking McDowell here early in the fight. The right, new combinations, and I don't think that this one's going to last much longer. Referee. You said it. You, you hit the nail on the head. You said it. I, don't, I, don't th I think he might be a little bit overmatched here. Mark Matheny, veteran referee, been in there for UFC Strike Force, WEC Bellator events. So. King of the cage. <laughs> the guy's gonna, been everywhere. Yeah, he's going to know when this fight's going to be stopped. And, and Pacheco just really yep. taking it to uh, McDowell gonna, here in the corner. Throws a big knee there. We're going to see some more knees here. McDowell doesn't look like he has much left in the tank. And I will give McDowell, you know, credit. He... he he definitely is not, you know, tapping out as, as you would see a lot of fighters here. He's hanging in there. Yeah. And that's going to be it. Yeah, just too much there at the end of the fight for uh, for McDowell. It's Pacheco, you know, goes Swarmed back to the corner. You're right. Absolutely. Swarmed him. And an, a fantastic debut there for the famous Pacheco in the UVC lightweight division, a very stacked division as his teammate, Corey Delaney, is pretty much the king of that division right now. Uncrowned champion, as, as they would say. So definitely another great guy to train with. And you see Adam DeSabato, three-time All-American wrestler there, the first guy in the cage to greet him. Absolutely. And, and again, it's like you mentioned earlier, David, it, it means the world when you've got a, when you've got a great uh, team behind you, a good, solid camp, you know, somebody that's, that's well-renowned, that's recognized, that has a the core skill set that that camp has. Yeah. It really showed tonight. Yeah, you know, especially coming in as a debut fighter, just against a guy who's independent, you know, you always are on that grind of, of trying to find guys to train with. I've seen him on, on Facebook and online just, you know, practically begging guys to train with him. And, and maybe it might be best for McDowell if he, you know, if he wants to stay in and, and continue fighting to, to try to find a gym to go to. Sure, and, absolutely. Uh, and, and just, you know, really get in there and train with, with guys that are as, aggress as aggressive and tough as, as Pacheco is. Uh, you know, and, and maybe eventually get in the right weight class as well. But, you know, Pacheco there, uh, like I said, a great debut. 
Absolutely. Hopefully we see him more of him in the UVC in the near future. And he did step up. You're right, actually. McDowell, McDowell stepped up. You know, that, that weight issue. Um, train, train, train. You got you to gotta get in there and train. You're absolutely right, David. As we await the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute. 51 seconds of rounds and number one to win. By tap out to the strikes and now undefeated inside the cage. The famous Ladies and gentlemen, I am with your winner, Alfredo Pacheco, 1-0 inside the cage. Got a nice fan base right over here. Now, some interesting facts with you. You were born in Mexico, moved to the United States when you were five. You're only 20. You found MMA just three short years ago at age 17, and you look like you executed very well tonight inside the cage. Well, I train every day, and I train hard, so, you know, and I'm not a trainer. I train with the fans, and uh, I keep up. You train at the Sado Gym at two times, or three times, All-American at Ohio State, Adam Sado. Talk to me about that gym and how they got you prepared to make your impressive debut inside the cage. Well, Adam is a great trainer, and uh, I didn't know about it. Thanks to Matt, he told me about it, and I went, and then that's how I found out about Adam. And I started from that day on, I started training every day. Anybody out there in the crowd, in your corner, up there in the grandstands, you'd like to thank tonight? I want to thank all the people from uh, the Sabados, uh, training hard and everything. And uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out to support me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now there is your winner, another round of, oh, he's not done yet, hold on. And I want to thank Sean Morris and his wife for, uh, you know, putting this up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, and now undefeated, the famous Pacheco.